Okay, Bill, this is going to be a little quick and dirty video of removing a uh, threaded impeller. This is a smaller pump, but the idea is still the same. You see we've got the tool on the back of the shaft. We've rested it on the board just to reduce the noise. The secret's in the impact. It takes several hits, as you can see, to break these loose. And we'll use the crane to support the impeller. In this case, we use a strap, wrap it around. Highly recommend supporting the impeller. Don't want to drop it off or possibly damage the end of the threads. And your seal is going to be right behind the impeller. He's just using a little spanner wrench to hook the key or the key way just so he can turn the shaft. There it is. Like I say, this is different than the pump you're working on, but it's basically the same idea. Now you got the spring, find a seal. This one has a thrust washer, and if there were any shims, they'd also be, you'd find them too as you took the impeller off. Yeah, there's one shim that was between the thrust washer and the sleeve. So you need to be sure they go back in the same order when they put it back together.